Hi, I'm Sadiq Smouse and we're going to check out Capitol Hall, home to all of your art related needs. Let's head on inside. Alright, this lovely building here is Capitol Hall, like I said before, made in 2017. It has been with us for a good five years and I have loved every second of it. I love this building so much, I'm going to show you every single room. So on in here, in uh, Capitol 110, we have all of your kind of beginner classes. Here you have design and color and various other things, but I want to show you my good friend, Zachary. How are you? Good, Sadiq. How about you? Pretty good myself. That's great. So, I'm giving a lovely tour to these lovely people at awesome. Capitol Hall, and I just wanted to have you share your experiences here. Um, well, this is the room that started it all for me, really. Um, I took both principles of digital media and design and color in here, and both of these classes uh, introduced me to the Adobe programs, Photoshop, Illustrator, InDesign which I now use every single day for both my schoolwork and my own personal work. Principles of digital media showed me how to manipulate photos, um, black and white, create uh, vectors in Illustrator, and work on posters in InDesign. And this is the room where I really fell in love with IMA. Uh, now in my free time, I like to come to this room and draw, um, just because the lighting's really good, and if I need any extra equipment, I know I can find it in here. What is your favorite memory in this building? My favorite memory would have to be in Labs 1 whenever you and I finished the branding material for Huntington Dance Academy and we presented it to the client and they loved it. For oh, sure. Alright, thank you Zach. And I'll let you get back to work. Thank you. You're welcome. Okay, we're going to head over to um, Keppel 111, and that is home to the Fab Lab or the 3D Design Studio, whichever one floats your boat. But it's a really cool place for students to go to to kind of get their hands dirty with different sculptures and stuff. So in here we have various different things to um, make various different structures. Pretty cool. We had a class in here called Bookbinding where they actually made books. Super cool. But I want to show you my good friend Ethan over here. Hello. So, I'm giving a tour to these awesome people and I want to know if you had any experiences in this room. Well, actually, this is where I took my very first art and IMA class at Juniata, uh, Intro to Sculpture. Uh, in this class, you know, you can you do all kinds of different media from fabric to wood to metal to glass. Uh, so yeah, I had, a, I had a good time in this room. What was your favorite project? My favorite project was definitely the glass casting project. We made a mold of an object, I chose my hand, mm -hmm. and then we had to make the mold out of plaster, and then we actually took it down to the kilns at the ceramic studio and melted glass down into our mold, and then when it came out, we had our hand, or whatever else we did, in glass. That sounds like fun. It was. Oh my gosh. Okay, so I want to know what this big garage door is for. What's this about? Okay, well, as you can see, over here we have some saws, a welder, you know, everything that you can need. Uh, usually they use this as an outdoor workspace, but if you do find yourself using them inside, then we do have this big vacuum here to catch the sawdust. Awesome. Thank you so much for sharing that with me, Ethan. Now we're gonna make our way out of this lovely room and head to another one. So we're gonna make our way outside of the 3D Design Studio and head down the hallway here. Like I said earlier, this is home not just to studio art, but also to digital media as well. And down here in these lovely digital media editing suites, we can do a lot of digital media editing, of course. <laughs> from editing videos, from Premiere, or editing different photos on Photoshop. It's a really good resource. So we're not going to go in the first room here, we're going to go into the next room down here. Alright, so follow me into the digital editing suite. So in here in my sweet tour, we have all these different computers with various different implements people can use from headphones to a mini keyboard students can use to get on and just have at it and have some fun on the computer. So down here, I want to show you two of my favorite people ever. Katie Monte. So I'm giving a lovely tour here and I want to know if you guys have had any experiences in this lovely room here. Oh yeah, this is uh, the room where I've taken all my video production classes uh, with Professor Jared LeGroux. Uh, 
I also have learned extensively uh, on the different Adobe programs, specifically Premiere and Photoshop. And uh, generally, I just spend hours in here working on Premiere, uh, making cool video projects for my various jobs and classes on campus. Awesome. I'm okay. Uh, well, I have my video production classes in here too, but uh, I like all the resources that you have here. Like for for my video production classes, like we have access to drones, so many different types of cameras and lenses, and just different accessories. So they all like that helps like make our projects way better than. Awesome. So who is your favorite Keppel professor? Jared. Yeah, probably Jared, but also, but that's because I've had him a little more than the other ones, but Ryan's an awesome uh, professor. All of them are amazing professors who care a lot about their students' work, uh, about investing in their students, investing time into them so that uh, no one's left behind and everyone is uh, growing their skills constantly. Awesome, awesome. Also, Ryan's dogs are really cute. <laughs> All right, so we're going to make our way out of this room and upstairs. We finally made it upstairs. Upstairs we have a lot of different studio art classes from drawing to painting. We also have a photography studio and editing suites and an IMA room. So I'm gonna show you the lovely painting area first. It's in here. We have a painting studio and might I just say all of the paintings in here, top notch, amazing, wonderful. But I wanna show you a good friend of mine, Ethan, in here. Hello, Ethan. Hello. How are you? You doing good? Yes. He's doing good. That's great. We love to see it. Now, what, 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 what are you doing in here? Why, why, what's going on? Well, I actually took beginning painting in here, which was actually my first time painting since middle school. Wow. Or even elementary school, maybe. But you learn a variety of oil painting techniques. You know, like underpainting. You know, how to spread the paint, how to mix it, how to get the consistency right with the oil. Mm -hmm. You know, overall, good stuff to learn, fun class. Awesome. My favorite memory in this class would definitely have to be just the late nights, come in here with everyone else in the class and working on our paintings before the due date. Awesome. So yeah, we made our way outside here in the hallway. We've made our way to the photo studio here. Uh, none of us really have any strong memories in the photo studio, but I do want to mention it because it is a really good resource for students who just want to um, take good photos. There's amazing lighting in here, but also you can have the really cool big printers in here and get really nice prints off, so yeah. All right, so our next room is the drawing studio. And here I take my classes. Oh gosh, okay, there's a bunch of desks all over the place, but the really cool thing about this room is that we get to do life drawings of various different things. And my workspace is over here. Get out of the way. <laughs> and I do a lot of different drawings from inking to perspective drawing to various stuff like that. Super fun. My favorite memory in this room was probably when we got to do boxes. So we just picked a bunch of like cardboard boxes and just set them up and we used to just go around to everyone's desk and just draw the box. And everyone, and I just say everyone, has very different drawing skills, oh my gosh. But ultimately, super fun class. All right, so we finally made it to our last room on campus. I know, I know, you're gonna miss me. This tour has been the highlight of your life, I know. But we have to come to a close at some point. So we finally make our last stop at the Integrated Media Arts Studio. So we're gonna head on in here. You can see my lovely, 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 lovely people that we met on our trip here are here. So I'm gonna take a seat and they'll do the talking because my throat hurts. In this room, Sadiq and I uh, take practicum, which is an upper level course where you work with a client, uh, either external or internal. And for this semester, we are currently working uh, internally within the IMA department. And we are working on an anniversary book for Keppel Hall because this is going to be its fifth year anniversary. So for this anniversary book, we are both on the art direction team and the production team, which means that we are currently working with uh, different color palettes, typography, uh, page layout for the book and we kind of over, uh, look all of that kind of stuff and we're gonna put it together to finalize it. 
All right, so as I said, that's our last stop, but we have a lovely surprise for you. So down this lovely hallway, we're gonna have a talk with the anime director herself, Ryan Gibney. She's right in here. Our students can take classes in here for integrated media, studio arts, um, bookmaking, sculpture, drawing, painting, um, lots of different things. Obviously the IMA courses, those courses are for the most part community engaged learning or local engagement designated. So we have a lot of foot traffic through the building with our community partners and people that are working with our students as interns or um, contributors to a team project. We, we've been in the building now for five years. So this is our fifth full semester in the building, which is awesome. And um, we're currently working in the IMA practicum course on a book about the building. And I'm really excited about that because we will be sharing all the great things that the building has provided us. Um, but what makes the building so awesome, I think, it's just a dedicated space for us to do creative work and students can set up shop and leave their work and do editing and run over to jitters and come back and um, have team meetings and late night group meetings where they write on all the dry erase boards that are on the walls. So um, it's a really special place for all of us. <laughs>